Good morning, Tigers. Today is Wednesday, February 23rd. I'm Landon Ellis, and this is your Morning Roar. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now observe a moment of silence. Good morning, my name is Adeja Barkley and this week we are focusing on the black history of the Georgia film industry. Today I'm focused on the famous actor and comedian Christopher Tucker known as Chris Tucker. Chris grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. Growing up, he found his love for comedy and would perform for his family and friends. He moved to Los Angeles at the age of 19 to become a stand-up comedian. After locally performing, he starred on the HBO show Dev Comedy Jam. Soon later, he started getting recognition and became an actor, and soon got his role in movies like House Party 3, Friday, Money Talk, and is also known for his movie in Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3 with Jackie Chan. Chris is a fan favorite for everybody in the world. Although he made many lives in the film industry, Tucker decided to leave the industry because of his Christian beliefs and is now focusing more on comedy with his show on Netflix called Chris Tucker Live. Outside his show, he established his foundation in 2016 called the Chris Tucker Foundation, which was founded in Atlanta, Georgia. This foundation gives back to all different types of charities and back to the Georgia community. In FCHS's Black Student Union is hosting a student marketplace in celebration of Black History Month. They're looking for student entrepreneurs to take part in the marketplace. This is your opportunity to promote your business. If you do nails, hair, customizations, tutoring, or simply have a talent you would like to showcase, Come in and participate in the marketplace. To reserve your table, it costs $25. It comes with a free t-shirt to wear at the event. To sign up, just scan the QR code. The marketplace will take place at the JROTC Courtyard on Saturday, February 26, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Whether you are an entrepreneur or coming to support your young business leaders, we hope to see you there. Calling all seniors, we invite you to register to attend a live virtual information session to learn what East Georgia State College has to offer. We are offering limited seating in the Career Center, so please register in advance in the Counseling Department with Ms. Maria Cawthon. The Black Student Union is hosting a BSU Week. Today is Professional Attire Day. Come dress in your best business or interview attire to represent your excellence. Tomorrow is Hidden Figures Day. Dress as someone you feel made a major impact on black history. Finally, Friday is HBCU Day. Rep your favorite historically black college or university. Teachers, rep your sorority or fraternity. We can't wait to see you participate. Seniors, don't miss the next scholarship Lunch and Learn in the counseling office. Lunch and Learns are held on the third Thursday of each month. Leave your mark on FCHS or pay tribute to a fellow Tiger by ordering a custom brick that will be installed in the median outside school auditorium. Bricks are $50 each and your purchase supports the Fayette County High School PTSCO. Order now. This opportunity ends February 28th. Did you know that Chorus is an actual class that you can take during the school day? Sign up in room 3070 today and check out this promotional video. Calling all book lovers, this is the final week to finish your reading and complete your book review sheet for the Winter Book Challenge. All forms will be due to Miss Jacobs on Monday, February 28th. Do you like learning new things? Did you used to play an instrument in middle school and now you want to learn to play again? 
Well, no time is better than the present. Check out this video about how you can join the band for next year. Hi everyone, it's your band president and I'm here to tell you guys to join the band next year. And there's so many different instruments to choose from, so we know you'll choose the right one for you. You can even join the marching band and play the same instrument you play in class every day. So come join our family. Anyone from freshmen to upcoming seniors can join. And remember, learning new things is always welcome. All you have to do is scan the QR code and put it on your schedule next year. is Miss Fanny and I am the yearbook advisor here at Fayette County High School and yearbook is a class where we create the actual yearbook it's kind of like a history book but it's also a fun book so we start off the year by coming up with our theme and then once we have our theme developed we have someone that help us design the cover and from there we run our theme throughout the book taking pictures doing interviews writing copies um, going to sports events and things like that Committee class or journalism class, as it will be called on your transcript, offers you a chance to immerse yourself um, inside the school and sort sort of serve as the school historian. You watch over and you cultivate the yearbook every year. The book offers um, creative freedom, and we get to explain and explore new parts of the school. Like we go to different classes to take pictures, the games to take pictures. I've learned a lot of time management and cooperation skills, mostly time management because we have deadlines to meet to make sure that the book comes out on time. High School Musical.ly is quickly approaching. Show dates are as follows, March 24th at 7 p.m. March 25th at 7 p.m. for senior night and two showings on March 27th with one being at 3 p.m. and the other following at 5 p.m. Tickets will sell out quickly. Scan the QR code to get your tickets today. Well, that's all for today, Tigers. You guys stay classy out there and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.